Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and assorted freaks of nature. We are playing Broken Sword. We are 90%. Oh, hello. Let me guess, football fans. Hi. Having a party? No. This is British. Come on, join us, man. Oh We're Russia. Wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse my mate, he's tucking a nap, sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. I'm I'm disgusted and appalled by this racial stereotype. I mean I haven't witnessed anything like this in the rest of the game, but ah. Oh. What is that stuff you're drinking? Newcastle brown like me! Gasoline. Boy, I'll put tears in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. Do you know what this is? No, man, what is it? It's a hand buzzer. You won't catch me out with that, pal. If I'd wanted to catch you out, I wouldn't have shown it to you, would I? Well, yeah. maybe she's mate, pal. Like a clever double bluff, you know? Have you ever seen this man before? Hi, man. He's chalky white and I claim my ten quid, Lake. No, he's an international assassin, and he goes by the name... Khan! I, man, but I was close, you know? I, I am. I'm feeling increasingly violated. Would you like a red nose? Oh, thanks, pal. I got one of me on. <laughs> See uh, you later. Yes. Give an open night window, pal. Why not? It's freezing out there. Oh, to hell with you. You too, the fun. I don't know what the hell accent that was. It's probably a bit better than his. Well, we have an empty carriage here and seemingly nothing to click on. Well, that's different. There's never usually a a room that you can actually do nothing with. How perplexing. Oh dear. No. That gangster creep from the hotel, Amido. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster. This is a no smoking car. Okay, maybe he did scare It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me. Ackley, the Marquis of Oh, I didn't pick up on that. The door was locked. Let's try that one. As we just walked straight past it. The door was locked. I really didn't want to shoot the breeze with this guy. You never know, you might learn something about being a gangster, George. Nope, still nothing we can do in there. I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly, the sort of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. You love her? You, but you barely know her! Ah, uh, such is the way of love. I'm taking the window. Hey, buddy. Listen, I need your help. Was a mother? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Basharia. We are veterans, like so action at Breitling Sea. I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict in anywhere called Breitling Sea. Well, you just check it for me, pal. You're in safe hands. Great. Did you see what happened? Uh, to the young I woman feel in the safe. Department? No, Paula, didn't have you lost her like? She's disappeared. The old lady too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, we yeah, man, an old lady too. Yeah. You gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet like? I don't think so. You never go on your own. I was in pairs, you know. Yeah, no, you can't trust these women. To, I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. Okay. See you later. Oh, no, no, I'm allowed. Give it to it, pal. Do a jump. I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. Don't worry, I am that kind of American idiot. And I have no butt crap to speak of in these slats. It's an assisted suicide. Give me a leg up there, Jordi old pal. There we go. 
Oh, it's not too cold. I'll be on my hands and knees. I don't know that we are going the right way, but as the old woman and Nico didn't go the way we had gone, old woman, we know it's calm. Oh, what's going on? I can't select anything, so I'm guessing I can't do anything about it. Oh no, Khan has just been shot. Um, let's use the hand buzzer on him. I always wanted to stop the train, and now was my chance. Oh, I was supposed to pull that. And yet, I didn't even click on it. I think this game is a bit easier than I remember it being. You saved our lives, but why? We were always on the same side. Stop at different causes, but a common enemy. The Knights Templar? Don't call them that. The real Templars were a noble foe. These is the plural Templars or just Templar? Barbarians have no right to that name. These men are no better than dogs. What are the Neo-Templars after? What is the Sword of Baphomet? Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to wield. A double-edged sword. A power older than Timole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them. You and me together, and Nico. No, George. My journey ends soon at the Garden of Paradise. I'm sure 77 virgins await you. Can't you tell me straight what they're after? The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. There are no which such are things. Focused at St. Ninian's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will of all around them. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long yeah, I've been walk wondering that. from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. Um, uh, ah. maybe not. Uh, no. Uh, we could have made no. him laugh. Well, bye then. I'll guide you to our enemies. I'm Thanks. sure he will. <laughs> Last. Go on. What? What is it? He's dead. Oh. You're the murderer. Nico. Of all Don't worry. the Khans I've ever known. And tell me this instant, Jean Stobart. I will. When I'm ready. Should I use the axe? Oh, that's not fair, George. No. You took advantage while my hands were tied. When Eklund pointed that gun at me, I thought I was going to die. I thought of all the things I'd never get to do. And kissing you was at the top of my list. George. Oh. Uh-huh. Josh, we've got to get off the train. Eklund could recover at any time. So what Not if we shoot for? him in the back of the head or use that axe on him. Oh, very well. Early as the next morning. Ah, uh, what if that isn't Scotland? I, I knew him with a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? A then bag. Oh, great. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know the half of it. This bag's full of C4. Wow. Wonderful. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic, oh, my Christ. We're going Is to there a detonator in the house? Two kilos of plastic explosive. The detonator's oh. broken, though. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't it, work that mm. way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Well, that's not much use then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid 17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look in at the Scotland? Place, George. 
You uh, look him out. Oh, well, I suppose the Stuarts spot. were involved, but I didn't think there were battles that the stretched this far. The tower was the only oh, thing well. to survive the blast. I I'm sure it's more historically accurate than I am, and I'm sorry I'm talking over the dialogue, but you can bloody well read. I rather hope it did. Right, onwards and upwards, Nico Collard. I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. I know a few archaeologists that would go mad for that. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. Damn! Then the handle came off in my hand. Yep, well, that seems quite typical. Hello. Let's put the pipe in. Uh, that's the small one. It was no good. The demon wasn't inhaling. Ah. What about that? With the clay pipe in ah. his mouth, he looked happy, homely. Like somebody's granddaddy. What do you think you're doing, Josh? I wondered if there was a secret mechanism in the demon's mouth. Maybe you should show a little more respect. For a mythical medieval demon? Give me a break. Okay. Go right ahead. Meddle with forces you don't understand. Incur the demon's wrath and burn in hell. I think that's Just a guarantee. Be care. The handle didn't fit in there. Well, you know, we can just keep trying. That wasn't the hole the handle was meant to fit into. Hmm. Maybe not. All right, I would say the handle should almost definitely go in the middle. I the handle into there the we go. Mouth. So what else do it? Maybe put the red nose Sometimes on it. Sometimes the most childish gestures can have a cathartic effect. The transformation of the demon to a clown did just Why that. Why is it all the way up there, me. though? All right, so there's a handle. I wonder if we can dismantle this any further. Now that ah. the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. Well, in that case, I think we've got this little mystery solved. The cog wouldn't fit the demon's nose. But we very nearly got this little mystery solved. The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. I was sure the... What about that big wheel there? Hmm. Nico. Nico? Uh huh. What are you doing? Committing this inscription to memory. Can you read it? No. Well, yep. Yeah, no. Thank you. Thank you, Nico. I wonder if I can start rotating something. Uh, no. Well, apparently not. We've still got this photo of Khan. Uh, no. Maybe there's some more rubble we can pick up. Under one of the stones, hey! I found a metal coin which was green with age. Bada bing! Might as well check again. It was caked with soil. But what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Now, if we find that the Templars are downstairs, I'm going to wonder how they not only got, well, got through this door, but also managed to rearrange everything. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye into place. The cogs all meshed. It began to turn. And yeah, they managed to hide this intricate device. So what do we have here? It was the handle from the church tower's winding map. Hmm. Interesting that we didn't have to use it. As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. And hidden but their way. where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Maybe they finished this game two hours ago. Come on, Nico. Walk straight through you if I have to. Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. It has what to be Templars. Only they chant. It surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. Ooh, I hope so. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Will you look at that? Oh, that's a the fun. devil rides out. Lovin' always right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. Don't this shout. This is Baphomet. Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. 
no more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. Rosso! Why, the double-dealing treacherous? On the contrary, Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now Why are we frozen? Watch if you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here oh, before God's, God's right. sentinel, Baphomet, Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute Why their mouths and not pledge our obedience to you. I salute you, gatekeeper of the temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Zuta law. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. That sounds quite nice. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. Um, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Or is it? Is he going to become something monstrous? He's not dead. Yeah, I'm as surprised as they are. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. I want genes that don't have turnips. No harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Join us, George. Join us in true brotherhood. Yeah. True? Wait. Brothers? What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers. Only as failures. Three men dead, and you don't give a damn! George, you know that sacrifices are necessary! Sacre bleu! Every great undertaking! Join you! I'll see you in hell first! Yeah! Oh, George, I had great hopes for you. Well, they were misplaced! C'est la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. No. Uh, hey, well done, Nika. Oh! You son of a bitch! Oh, well, that, that didn't go as well as I could have hoped. Ah! Hey! I swear! I just wanted things to be right! Well, this is, this is a great old mess. Take them. Kill them. Well, which one do you want us to do, boss? They will not escape. We will we escape. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, it's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? Ah, uh, there's a torch there. I'll wave it off like it's Frankenstein's monster. Yeah! Come on, Nico. We're leaving. You fool. That, that wasn't as direct you a hit as I would have hoped. escape us. Guido! Stop them. But, Master, the powder. That powder is from the English Civil War. You fool. Why? He's all uh, his sentences hundred so years old. Disjointed. How explosive do you think it can be? I don't know, but I'm not sticking around to find out. I thought it was all over, but Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. 
or in her handbag to be exact, a handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Fuck on! That was my phone going off at an apt kind of a moment. Yeah, oh, you bloody idiot. And we were never seen again. Incinerated, disintegrated, blown to smithereens. Oh, well, maybe not. Mm, hello. You've ever done it in a graveyard before, darling. And there endeth Broken Sword. It better endeth there, otherwise I'm going to sound very silly. We didn't stay long no. in Scotland. <laughs> George had a vacation to finish, and I had another story to write. Not the real story, of course, but enough half-truths to fill a page and pay my rent for the month. George and I hung out together in Paris. I showed him my favourite restaurants, and he told me his best jokes. You know, Nico, this city holds so many memories for me now. The cafes, the music... The sewers. Tell me about it. The clowns. The jugglers. <laughs> and your pal Labano. Oh, yes, dear Andre. When we first met, and I was doing my detective stuff, you kind of disappeared a lot, Nico. Were you and Labano, uh... There was something happening, but nothing to do with Andre. Uh-huh. It was something from the past that I had to deal with, on my own. So, I dealt with it, and now it's over. Hey, did I ever tell you the one about the old Irish couple, the lottery? No, but I think you're going to. Okay, there's this old Irish couple. They've Let's been married forever, like 50 off. years, and they win the lottery. <laughs> oh, well, that's one of my favorites, too. And that's it. And because it's Broken Sword, because they were an Irish couple, they got very drunk. It's something quite offensive, probably, like ate a potato. And we all loved... Oh. And that is Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, the director's cut. And I thank you very much for watching. It was actually a very good game, very enjoyable game, and I'm very glad that I managed to conclude this Let's Play. We've concluded one for the first time in what seems like years. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I won't be re re well, starting a new one just yet. I've got plenty more to keep working on. But do stay tuned, and I'm sure that another game will come up sooner rather than later. So, cheerio, and thank you for watching.